Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Alumni of Vanderpump Rules Kristen Doubt disclosed that she had experienced a tragic loss. She was recently photographed with Brittany Cartwright and Jax Taylor at BravoCon. For good reason, they remain a part of the Bravo family. What then is happening in her life? Continue reading for further information. Pump Guidelines Kristen Doubt Experiences Heartbreaking Loss Regarding Kristen Doubt, a lot has been said recently. She asserted that the accent of Pandora Todd Sabo, Lisa Vanderpump's daughter, was fake. At BravoCon, LVP addressed this, and she couldn't help but laugh. In addition, there was a report that Doubt was chosen for the Pump Rules spin-off due to her quiet nature. She has been a member of the Pump family since the beginning of the show, thus that was also untrue. After season 8, she along with Brett Cap, Max Boyens, and Stacy Schroeder were let go in 2020. After being duped by Tom Sandoval, Doubt did return for the season 10 final to assist Ariana Maddox in letting go of the past. She will now be back for the spin-off in addition to her book and podcast, which she wrote a few years ago. She is happy as ever and at last in love. She has become so fixated on babies that it is unnatural. She was trying despite her psychic's prediction that she wouldn't become pregnant until 41, she is 40. Heavy claims that it was successful and that she was expecting her first child with Luke Broderick. Regretfully, she revealed on her podcast with her partner that the happiness did not last. When they learned that Kristen Doubt was expecting at the end of October, they were overjoyed. Doubt left soon after to visit Luke in Colorado. Since their first meeting, they have been dating virtually, which is when the light bleeding began. She said, I was just thinking the worst things in the world when I started to bleed a little bit. The most dire situations. When she went for blood work, the results showed that her progesterone was slightly low. The final chapter. The former Pump Rules star received additional progesterone but a third ultrasound showed the worst. Her pregnancy was evidently not viable. As Luke Broderick put it, it's regarded as a blighted ovum. The developing sac contained no embryo. Kristen Dowd hasn't taken any action as of yet. Luke outlined her choices. As of yet, nothing has occurred. The first option is a surgical procedure called a D and C, dilation and curatage. The second option is to wait and see. Your body will eventually reject it, so simply let it happen naturally. Lastly, Doubt claims that she can take medicine to induce miscarriage. They still have hope and will strive to become parents, so it's not the end for them. While we send them love and hope that they will succeed in their goals, our hearts are heavy for them during this time. Vanderpump Rules star Lala Kent has hit a major corner in her life, and she was recognized by those closest to her. So, what has she done that's so amazing and good of a super fun party filled with pains? Read on for further details. Lala Kent hits major corner, recognized by Musketeers, when Lala Kent first joined Vanderpump Rules in Season 4. She wasn't liked by numerous. She prevaricated about a modeling gig just to go on a luxe holiday. And also she had in Fugitive Swain. As it turned out, he claimed he was separated, but was actually still married with two children. Kent was looked at as a sugar baby, and her co-stars took a lot of time to warm up to her. Still, once they did, they couldn't stop gushing. Yes, they had some issues with her and her sharp lingo, but she was a good mama and businesswoman. More so, she was a lift, or die friend, which was essential. Now, she's celebrating a crucial moment in her life as she's now five times sober. That means the mama of Ocean 2 gets to have a fifth birthday party. Lala chose Chili's, per her Instagram, to have the bash and bring together everyone from her once and present. Her mama, Lisa Burningham, and family, Easton, were in attendance. Pump alums Brittany Cartwright and Jax Taylor were there which was a big deal since fellow alum Stassi Scroder showed up with her two kitties. Sheena Shea attended with hubby. Brock Davies and their son Summer, Katie Maloney and her mama, 
Tiri came by as did Stassi's ma, Dana, so it was a true family affair. Lala Kent wrote in the caption, When they asked me where I wanted to celebrate my fifth birthday, it was a no-brainer at Chillis. There was cutlet, smiles, and happiness as Sheena was seen feeding Summer, Stassi's son, Hartford, and Kent's little girl, Ocean all at formerly. Musketeers and followers transferred love, like Kristen Doubt, congratulations baby girl. Reconciliation. Three people who attended Lala Kent's fifth birthday were Jax Taylor, Brittany Cartwright, and Stassi Schroeder. They used to be stylish musketeers, but that all came to a head when Taylor and Cartwright didn't attend Stassi's marriage to Beau Clark at the last nanosecond. It was a destination marriage and Stassi maintained that the spaces they held could have gone to other people. Though Jax and Brittany claim they still love Stassi and Bo and want a fellowship, it has been hard. Now they all came together for Lala so was there a chance they may have started working toward commodity positive? Let's stock gap. Are you amazed it has been five times since Lala blazoned she was giving up drinking? Let us know in the commentary below and congrats Toms. Kent on this huge accomplishment. Vanderpump Rules alum Jax Taylor has revealed his woman. Brittany Cartwright's huge Jenny Craig payday. The couple left the Bravo series after season 8. Yet they still managed to keep the cash inflow coming in. Now he's on the series House of Villains and is discovering the tea. Read on for further details. Jax Taylor reveals wife's huge Jenny Craig payday. The one thing about Jax Taylor is that he always believed he was the number one Joe in the group. Of course, that was challenged by Tom Sandoval and now James Kennedy. When Taylor left Pump Rules with his woman, Brittany Cartwright, they did lay low. At the same time, they ate their first child, a son named Cruz too. This came at the same time as their fellow Bravo cast members, Sheena Shea, Lala Kent, and Stassi Schroeder. Still, Cartwright plotted with her baby weight despite trying hard to lose it. That was when Jenny Craig came calling. She has since dropped the pounds and looks amazing. Along with that, she and Jax have launched their own podcast, When Reality Hits. Plus, they did a Vanderpump rewatch on Peacock in the midst of Scandival, and will be on a spin-off with some alum. For his part, Jax is starring in House of Villains and lately boasted Toko Star. Shake about how important plutocrat Brittany dredged in from her Jenny Craig deal. He claimed she made two million bones for being a prophet. It made Shake wonder why he was indeed on the show if he'd so important money. Reddit thread was soon started to address this with the OP writing. According to Jax, Brittany got dollar two meters from Jenny Craig deal I call bullsh asterisk, hypercritically. Did other Redditors believe that Jax Taylor was elaborating because that's what he does? It's not normal to ever talk about how important plutocrat you were making like that. If you really made that plutocrat, just saying. Name one discussion from any show in which he hasn't stretched, exaggerated, or prevaricated straight over when it comes to making himself look better than everyone he's around, one wrote. Lies, lies, lies now. It must be noted that Jenny Craig did close their doors, but restarted them via the internet. So they may have tried to bait guests in at any cost with Brittany. Still, other Redditors were quick to recall Jax Taylor's former falsehoods, like how he was supposed to work at a hockey marketing job. Thanks for watching if you liked this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.